Next up, I'm, uh, 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 we're going to actually talk to um, Katrine uh, Van Gesel uh, to represent uh, and share with us the stor latest story of where she's at at KBC. Um, she's joining us today from Belgium and her team has been showing real leadership in the banking sector in developing API products that are really usable. And uh, she's going to talk to us today about how they're unlocking further innovation through their uh, their vault. And Katrin, good afternoon. How are you? Good. How are you? I hope you can hear me because we had some uh, some hiccups in the technical area. Um, I can certainly hear you with no problems. So um, uh, that all absolutely great. And uh, um, we're looking forward to to hearing uh, your presentation and uh, I think that includes a video as well. So um, I will give you <laughs> about, uh, 20 minutes and uh, um, mm -hmm. we we'll look to um, uh, uh, giving that a go. Why don't you put your slides up now? And we can see those no problem. And okay. uh, Katrine, thank you. Okay, so uh, I suppose you can see my slides because I don't really know what the uh... Uh, if not, you will interrupt me. I'm sure you will. Uh, feel free to do so. But either way, I will be telling a little bit about our uh, KBC API journey. Uh, maybe a very quick words about um, about KBC itself. Um, it is loading, but I will uh, I will walk you through. KBC is uh, in general a bank insurer, um, and it's uh, spread over uh, the entire of Europe. We have six core countries. But I do want to share with you a uh, actually the short video that, uh, that I mentioned, um, which uh, is one of our latest. Um, I don't know if you see because, but I have a, an, a white screen actually, or a black screen. So I don't know what you uh, whether you see my slides properly. Yes, you can. Okay, great. Uh, so okay, so we're we're in an integrated group, an integrated uh, bank insurance group. Uh, but we recently had a commercial uh, which was an, um, on um, goal alert. It's called, and you can have the best videos and highlights of goals in uh, from the Jupiter Pro League. I'm just gonna check quickly if I can indeed uh, show you the. Um, well, I'm not gonna bother actually because it might uh, block everything. So I'm just gonna tell. You know, it's a uh, goal alert is a feature in KBC Mobile, so in our banking app, where you have immediately the uh, while the match is going on, you can immediately get uh, the highlights. So if there was an, a card, a red or a yellow card, or if there was uh, someone scored a goal, you can immediately get an, a push notification, and uh, you also can uh, watch the highlights uh, like. One minute after, you can get a watch the video, see see the goal, and so on, which is of course not that uh, logical for a bank insurance. So how did we get there? And that's kind of very briefly the story I want to tell, and of course the link uh, with uh, with APIs. And it has to do with who we want to be. We want to be the reference, both in 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 being the best bank, but especially also in being the best digital, being the best innovative bank. And that's also something we get rewarded for. So it's something we strive for. And we also get that uh, that feedback. So for example, this year, or actually last year, we had been rewarded by Sparkit, which is a uh, public voting um, of uh, the best banks. And there we won indeed most innovative, best digital and best bank. And it also, uh, is, um, it also has to do with, you know, we do, who do we want to be? And we also say, okay, we have an omni-channel approach, which is quite common, but we also say we want to collaborate with partners. So with a, with a lot of partners in ecosystems that enable us to offer our clients comprehensive solutions. And that's very important. We want to be there for our clients. We want to make sure that we offer our clients the best in, uh, in the market solutions and preferably also integrated within the ecosystem. Whether we are integrated in the ecosystem or the uh, ecosystem is integrated with uh, more with uh, and that is a lot of um, one could say a lot of bullshit bingo, but it's uh, we put it very clearly in uh, in our three B strategy, which uh, we say okay, it's be personal and instant, be all in one app, and be everywhere. Those uh, if you look at from a group level, we want to be data driven, we want to be customer centric, and it's uh, the strategy is called differently the next level. In Belgium, we say okay, concretely we translate this in being personal and instant, be all in one app, and be everywhere. And I'm gonna quickly walk you through those three 
it, what does it mean oh, concretely? What do we mean by that? And being personal and instant means that we want to be uh, towards our client, uh, make sure that we are there when they need it. And uh, in a personalized way, in an instant way, so at the moment, at the instantly, so they don't have to wait three, four weeks in order, for example, to open up an account. And one of the examples there, a recent example, is Kate. I would like to introduce you to Kate. Kate is one of our newest colleagues, actually. She's a uh, virtual personal assistant. As customers still seek interaction, they want to have a personal interaction with us as a bank, but they do not come to branches anymore. It's a virtual assistant that can help their support that person. And we have two parts in Kate. We have Kate to you, as we call it, and you to Kate. So Kate to you will proactively contact you as a customer and say, okay, how can I help you? For example, if you're gonna travel outside of Europe, you have to open up your credit cards um, for um, for being able to pay uh, outside of Europe. And, and Kate then sees, okay, you, I apparently you're gonna travel outside of Europe. Should I not open your card so you can internationally use it? That's one of the things that we say, okay, as in that way we can be personal, we can be instant, we can instantly help that client in a way that it is for them at that moment necessary. We also have the upside, so Kate to you, so you, no, you to Kate, so you can ask Kate questions. For example, if you need your certificate for your car insurance, you can ask Kate, Kate will look in uh, the digital vault and find it for you and give it to you. Or if you want, you can also ask Kate to tell you some jokes. She also know, knows a couple of jokes, not that many yet but she's still learning anyway that's our first b where we say okay we want to be personal and instant our second b says we want to be um, an all-in-one app why do we say that because we say okay we want to make sure that we attract customers to our app and then convert them into loyal customers that they use uh, our services but also a lot of third-party services that we now offer so we offer, of course, our banking services, and that's how it all started, uh, by uh, integrating uh, the, uh, the APIs from PSD2. So PSD2, I think, has already been mentioned this, uh, this morning. Um, I heard, um, I was not able to follow Michael due to my uh, technical problems, but I assume he has mentioned it as well. But basically, the multi-banking aspect, integrating uh, a lot of um, bank accounts into your one banking app is the base, uh, is the base of how we really started with working with APIs, external APIs, how can we connect and so on. Well, on one hand, we said, okay, we can integrate a lot of things into our mobile app. Maybe we can also add um, some other, um, some other um, functionalities in our, uh, in our KBC mobile. Um, then uh, we have added a lot of third-party services, starting with a lot of payment methods right? so like meal vouchers or uh, payconic which is a, a mobile app payment for your phone um, but also adding a lot of other third-party services in the uh, space of mobility spare time telco energy administration so for example you can buy tickets for the train or the bus in our, our mobile app you can have the goal alert feature a uh, set in our a mobile app but you can also have a digital vault, vault within our mobile app and add your what used to be you know under your um in the little box under your bed that may be uh, there in your mobile app it's also open for non-customers so it's really becoming a platform where you can use a number of the uh, features that our customers can use all but you can also already use a number of these features and hopefully you will find out at kbc mobile so convenient so you will convert into a customer we also have kbc deals which is basically the vouchers you use to cut out of um of uh, the magazines in order to get uh, a cash back so to get uh, to get money back so we see that we have a lot of features in our app for customers to use to make sure that they have a very full very uh, good experience typically high frequency, high volume, frequent use uh, there. We do the same also for, uh, for corporates. So there we also integrate propositions, services, products from partners within our, um, our uh, application for uh, corporates and SMEs. Now, and then the third one, uh, the third B is Be Everywhere. And here APIs become way more important for us because Be Everywhere is actually where we say, okay, rather than we integrating third-party services into our channels, we um, are starting to integrate our products and services into the channels of others. 
So let's make it concrete as well, because otherwise it's uh, it's not that uh, easy or it might not be that uh, that easy. So, for example, we say, OK, when you want to rent a house, you also need a rental guarantee and a home insurance. So we partner up with uh, CIB Vlaanderen, which is the, the overarching organization of real estate or one of the overarching organizations of real estate brokers in Belgium. So real estate brokers can immediately when you go and rent a house rather than signing the contract, having to go to the bank to get your rental guarantee, your home insurance as well, going back to your real estate broker, you can immediately there with your real estate broker get your uh, rental guarantee. Another example where we cooperate is with Tesla, for example. So uh, both uh, well, entrepreneurs at the moment uh, can get can get financing for the asset that they buy. If an entrepreneur buys a Tesla, he can get financing for that um, immediately with Tesla online, digitally, fully integrated. And um, uh, for example, with KBC Auto Lease, also consumer uh, finance is there. If you as a private individual want to buy a car, you buy it uh, from KBC Auto Lease. There immediately there is a widget, there is an API integrated in order to uh, get the financing there at the moment that you need it. And that's key. We always say, okay, we have to be at the moment that our client needs us. So that is why we say, okay, um, financial services typically are a secondary service. And by consequence, we have to be there at the moment of the customer journey that our client needs us. And that is why we say, okay, let's make sure that through integration methods like APIs, we can be there at, a, at the moment that our client needs us, preferably, of course, in a digital uh, way. Another example is on-demand financing, where you say, okay, I'm going to integrate a uh, financing methodology into the CRM system of a customer, which we have done with, uh, with Team Leader, for example. But either way, all these integrations, and there are, I can give a number of other examples as well, all these integrations and these solutions uh, for businesses are proposed art deployed to the public or shown to the public to state it like that on our little market our developer portal which is known i assume to a lot of people here at the, at the at developer portal um, but on our developer portal you indeed have partly the business solutions right, where we say okay these are for a bit from a business point of view um, the solutions that you can get from us in order to help your client but also of course the technical specifications and all the the things around the technical integrations especially for apis but we also offer other integration techniques like uh, visual widgets or even qr codes if you want now this portal of course is crucial for our uh, distribution but uh, it's something that also the, the, the fact that, that APIs are crucial and, and necessary, uh, a necessary building block uh, for um, our Be Everywhere strategy to become real is something that we also say, you know, within the company, everybody should be aware of that. So we said, okay, we have an, uh, it's very nice to have APIs, it's very nice to have. Um, to have all your specific uh, specifications around it. Um, it's nice to have a developer portal so that people at least can know uh, if you market it well, that you have these APIs and that they can use these integration methods. But uh, we also believe that the entire company, entire KBC should be aware of the importance and should be to a certain extent know what APIs are about. And that's why we developed a framework where we say, okay, we as KPI, as, as KPI, not as uh, KBC, we have to be API ready. So the entire company has to be really API ready. And we have we say we have four building blocks in this. And we have to, we need an architecture, an API ready architecture. We have to have services I thinking plus how we called it, API ready IT services. And then we have to make sure that all of this we do it cost efficient and reliable. I will very briefly run you through it. The API architecture, I assume a lot of people are very familiar with that here. So I'm not going to go in that, but either way we have an architecture. The architecture is in place. Also, a number of third-party management pros, um, systems are there to manage uh, and to make sure, you know, the highway is there. Now we have to put cars on it, so build cars upon it. Uh, when we talk about service design thinking plus, it has to do with the fact that we say, you know, it's very nice to have all this technology about APIs and an architecture and so on. But the important thing when you are going to build APIs or when you are going to in our case, you know, put your products and services in the channel of a third party, make sure that you have a good product market fit there. And then in designing your API, you have to make sure that you design your product, the service design of your product, you do it in a correct way and that you have, for example, um, more possibilities in uh, changing your risk appetite according to 
which market you will be in. For example, if you are on a uh, comparator site, that will be a completely different market than if you are directly within the showroom, the digital showroom of Tesla. A third part is the API IT services. So the, the as we say, yeah, we have to cater to the hoodies and to the suits. Um, what do we mean by that? It's, uh, well, you have a lot of, you have the API and then a lot of IT services around it. For example, an example that I always give because I think it's so easy, reporting. If you have if you have a technical perspective on reporting, you want to know when the API is down, when there is downtime provided, what has gone wrong, how can uh, what could happen in the future, and so on. So that is something that you would want to know. As a suit, as a, a business person, it's important that you know. For example, say that indeed you have um, as Tesla, you have integrated asset financing and consumer financing. Hypothetically, then you want to know, you know, how does it, how well does this work? Does it um, make sure that I sell more, uh, how many loans are sold. And then also, if you get commission on that, how much commission am I gonna get? How can I take this into my, my business plans and taking it further into the future? So making sure that you have IT services that are not typically consumed before only within KBC, but that you now have to make sure that can also be consumed outside. That is something that is also important to take into account when you think about, okay, in the future, I want to develop APIs. And then our fourth building block is everything that has to do with load balancing. We have, um, by going on a different channel, different distribution channel, the uh, the calls towards our backend will not be the same as it was before when we were just doing it only by ourselves. So the taking that into account and making sure that potentially much higher volumes at completely different uh, times of the day uh, might happen. We have to take that into account. And that is something that's, of course, an internal exercise. But it was something that before we were never confronted with. And we have to take that into account when exposing APIs. So and like that, uh, by, by looking at both our, um, our developer experience, but also, you know, making sure that the company is API ready, providing services around the APIs and providing, of course, APIs, we hope to develop further, of course, on our path of, uh, of innovation and become a master in, uh, in openness, as, uh, as InnoPace so, uh, so nicely stated. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm looking also at the time. I think that's more or less it, what I wanted to say. I just want to uh, give you three things uh, to remember if I might have talked too fast or, or if it was just too much information, maybe on a short time frame. Three things to remember from our side. If uh, we look at APIs and at cooperation with partners, you have to make sure that you know that you never walk alone. You're always there with a partner and different relationships, if it's with a big partner or with a small partner, require a different state of mind. And in the end, it's all about the customer. So make sure that you take that customer into account, that you think about your customer when you're working on your partnership. The second point is that, and I've mentioned it a couple of times, digital APIs, everything around it is a business still. It's important that it's driven by business. It's important also that business understand what it's about, because why are you doing it? At the end of the day, you're doing it to generate more money or to support your business or to grow your business in other channels or to make sure that your partner can grow in your channel in our case. So it's very important to take also that the business, those business allies really along on your uh, API journey. And then the third one is that context changes everything. As I said, you know, we have an, um, um, if you go into the channel of uh, a partner, the context is completely different. Clients might not expect you there immediately. If you are in our channel, so you're, if you are in our OKBC all-in-one app, then um, you might not know that there is an, uh, that you can buy uh, easily a ticket for, uh, for the bus there. So you have to make sure that you take that context into account and that uh, you take also your partner wrong because they also do not know your context and you don't know their context. So from that perspective, making sure that you know the context, that you take that into account and that you put yourself in the shoes of your customer to understand, you know, what does this change for him or for her? That is something that I believe is also very uh, valuable lesson that we have learned so far on our API journey. So that was actually what I wanted to, uh, to mention. I Thank you, Katrina. Uh, I think I, I just finished my 20 minutes, I think, Claire. You did just finish in 20 minutes. You were absolutely spot on. And uh, um, I know that uh, perhaps a couple of people might have um, 
uh, missed um, some of the subtlety in the first um, slide or two as you were doing the introduction. It was a little bit of uh, a quality issue, but yeah. um, uh, it settled down. And so thank you um, very much for sharing how very clearly the KBC values and business strategies have played out to inform um, the the API and the innovation journey for you at the mm -hmm. bank. Uh, it's, uh, um, it, it's a fantastic story and great to continue to see, see your progress. Um, one of the uh, um, comments you made about the importance of everybody in the company understanding mm -hmm. this way of thinking and uh, um, this new mindset, if you like, what, what have been some of the things that perhaps have surprised you about um, uh, you know, what people have, how they've got involved in this and you know, what, what was unexpected in their, in their take up and understanding of this? Well, um, we have uh, the, 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 the framework to state it like that. We've developed it only a, a couple of months ago uh, because uh, at a certain moment uh, we, were, we had our, our, um, our developer portal we we're working on putting into practice our strategy, of course. But at a certain moment we had from a seaport level the question, you know, actually, what is it and why are why is it so important this developer portal and these APIs and so on? So we said, okay, now we have to think about, you know, how can we explain that to them who are, it's, it's, it's business people, it's, God forbid, it's bankers. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, we, we, we try to, to make it clear and, and, and tangible for them. And that's how we came up with a framework. And I was uh, very happily surprised actually to see, you know, that they very quickly realized, okay, okay, that's why it's important. And we have to make sure that everybody in the company knows this. And then we, um, we got a number of questions from, uh, from uh, directors in the company that said, okay, do you want to come and tell it to my people as well? On one hand, um, more technical or product development um, colleagues or product factories, but also um, from our uh, sales colleagues. So uh, corporate sales or um, even the retail colleagues that said, okay, we also want to know this and why is this important? And the nice thing even there was that they, uh, when we explained it and when we had discussions about it, they immediately also came with uh, possible partners, but also with possible improvements in the entire story. And that was something that that really positively uh, surprised me that there is that there is definitely an interest and also an the when explained properly the um, that they do realize that it is important and that it might not be the big um, uh, generator of, uh, of profit yet, but that it's important if we look at our strategy, the customer centricity, putting it into practice and making sure that we are there for our clients. So that was something that, uh, that did surprise me, especially yeah. from people who are in sales and completely on the other side of the company. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm great for sharing. We've had we've got a couple of questions that have just been put into the chat. So, mm -hmm. Mohamed asked about how do you make uh, different um, internal colleagues aware of new APIs and changes to existing ones? Uh, well, we are still working on that. It's a very good question um, because at a certain moment we got questions like, "What are you doing? And what are the new APIs? And what is being developed? And what is being put into practice?" Because we have a big transform program within KBC, and and we are just a small part of that. Um, we have now recently launched an uh, an internal SharePoint where there is a lot of information about what we do, who is the team, what are the, what is the the vision, the mission, and so on of the team. But we also uh, well, and then from the seaboard dribbling down, we are now uh, asked to go and present in a lot of. Um, a lot for a lot of colleagues, but we also have something which is called uh, the C25 College. The C25 program is the big overarching uh, transform program in Belgium, and there we have colleges. So, for example, UX design can come and present what did they do, why is it important, but also we are asked to come there and present to say why, what do we do, and what is important. So, to get that uh, that knowledge within the company is both top down as from the C25 college, in order to say, you know, which are the APIs that are going to be presented and what is next on our roadmap, what are we developing, that's more the SharePoint. Okay, great. Um, thank you. We've also got a question from Ibrahim about your the Be Everywhere strategy um, mm -hmm. in terms of what kind of uh, uh, education and uh, awareness have you been giving your customers and clients? Um, he's asking because he feels that if he's a customer, he might not know about what half of those services are that you now offer. Yes, 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 absolutely. And that, that's what I mean also by the context, that sometimes um, 
clients are very surprised to see today still uh, that they can immediately get a loan when they buy a bike, for example, or when they order solar panels that they can immediately there um, order also their, their consumer finance for their solar panels. Uh, on one hand, it's um, we have a number of above the line campaigns, but it's limited. It's it's to, to, to really educate the clients. It's it's hard. It's it's a, it's a bumpy road because uh, sometimes you have a, a, a number of clients that um, do not fully trust it. Some some even say um, it might be phishing, and then they just go to the channel that they know. So they go to KBC Life, which is our, which is our fulfillment center, or they go to their branch or to a branch, even of their of another bank. God forbid, very uh, big mistake. But either way, uh, they still go to the known channel. But you see that more and more it is being picked up. But uh, definitely, it's uh, about um, being there. And if they go to KBC Live, the colleagues there also know. Okay, this is a process that, or this is uh, yeah, a process. For example, for consumer finance, that can be entered from a different front door. To say it like that, not just our own front door, but also the front door of third parties. Uh, so they do guide and support the client in that, uh, especially those who are not willing or able to go end-to-end -end digital but it's uh, it's gonna take time um uh, sometimes some clients are taking up quite easily covid helped there of course some clients are um more reluctant and there you need to go you re really need to take them through the process so that's also sometimes just a sales managers calling them and saying this is the next step that you have to take and yes, it is all fine. And that's what you have to do. And it will all be fine. Yes, if you just upload your document, we will get it. And yes, you will get the loan. So that's, uh, an, um, but there is still a, a long road ahead of us, I believe, Ibrahim. Thank you, Katrine. We do have some other questions, but we're also at time. In fact, we're slightly over time. But yes. we do have you back uh, very shortly to join after um, this next session with Monica um, yes. to join us for the panel. So hopefully we'll get stuck into the, um, uh, and uh, talk about some of the ways that you support your customers more broadly. So thank you, Katrine, again, and uh, see you You're very welcome. soon.